Hello everyone, I am Saurabh Jain from pi-analytics.org and as we all are waiting for the course on Power BI, let's start. Before we start, I have just posted one post which talks about the process flow of Power BI. So let's look into it. I have shared that first step is extracting, transforming and loading the data. We have some source data available and we need to load the data into Power BI. That will be the first step. Then when the data is available, it may be in various multiple tables. So we have to create data model, we have to create a relationship between them, we have to create some calculated columns and we'll be writing measures. Don't think what they are, we'll be working step by step on each thing. But yes, this is the process step. Now coming to the third point, there will be some visuals, we'll be creating visuals, say visual number one, visual number two, visual number three. And when visuals are ready, we'll create a dashboard interaction among these visuals. And finally, we'll have some story to share with you all. So when you are ready with your dashboard and story, you would like to share it with your friends, colleagues, your corporate people, or you will export and publish it to the internet. So these are the various ways to start with. But yes, let's start with very simple basics. Start with some very first visual. Let's make a one visual. So before that, let's jump into the data. Let's look into data. I have created one sample data for you. So let's look into the data. So this is the data available with me. And we have in column number year. I have just put some random years. And then this is the name of the employees who are working in my team. Kritika, Saurabh, Manvi. Then this is city where they are actually selling the product. Jaipur, Bhopal, Mumbai and this is the quantity they sold and sales they have done. Fine. So it is a simple data. Nothing. There are no more tables. This is a simple table and our idea is to understand this data. How can we make the first visual? Fine. So look, I told you that first option is to first load the data. So this is the data. This is the data available with us. And today we have to load this data into our data set. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll create a open a Power BI. Let's jump into Power BI. When we open a Power BI, this is splash screen is coming. Let's close this for the timing. Now look, this is the interface of Power BI. First of all, it says this is a report view. So in this canvas, we'll be making our visuals. This is a table data view where we'll be see the data when we have loaded the data into the system. And this is a model view where we'll see the data tables and we can create a relationships. Fine. So these are the three things to look into this. Now, first step is loading the data. Fine. So we have this get data option. We'll go into get data. We create on Excel workbook. There are many options from where we want the data. But let's go from Excel workbook. Now, as I have this data available in my data file, so I'll just click this and look. Now it is connecting and now we are moving into the Power Query Editor. And now it tells me that this is the data, final data. What do you want? Let me see. Which is my table 1? This is table 1 and this is what? Table 2. So I don't want this. I only want the table 1. I will click on this. Okay, so this is the data I want to load. Now there are options of transform data and load. Gener today we are not transforming, but let's go into transform data. So when we'll click on this, now we have options to remove some columns, do some sorting, apply some transformation to this. Now this is called the Power Query Editor in the uh, Power BI. This is also available in Excel, but okay. Now we say close and apply. After doing some transformations, we can say close and apply. So let's do close and apply. As soon as we did close and apply, what will happen? It is loading. So look, what we have done, we have extracted the data from the Excel file and now we have loaded into the Power BI. So this is called ETL process, fine. Transformation we have not done, but yes, there was a transformation step. And now when we click on this data tab, see, we have this table available, fine. And in this table, you see, that first year, employee, city, quantity sales. 
तो दिस इज द डेटा अवेलेबल विथ अस नाउ इन दिस मॉडल व्यू यू विल सी इज अ सिंगल टेबल एंड सम हाउ इट इज समड अप सेल्स क्वांटिटी एंड ईयर वॉट ही हेज डन इज दैट सेल्स इज अ क्वांटिटी योर न्यूमेरिक फील्ड क्वांटिटी इज अ न्यूमेरिक फील्ड एंड ईयर इज अ न्यूमेरिक फील्ड तो इट इज बाय डिफॉल्ट सम इट आउट वॉट डस मीन्स इज दैट इट हैज क्रिएटेड अ मेजर ऑटोमेटिकली ऑफ समिंग दैन and that is called implicit measures because it is not me who have applied measures the system has already applied the measures so actually this is a wrong way we'll be writing measures ourselves and that will be called explicit measures but today let's focus on our visual fine so these are the things i'm now say year what is an year summarize the year so i'll click on this data and i say this is my year tab When I click on this, it says summarization. By default, it is sum. So I will click on this and say don't summarize. So now it will not default because we don't want to sum the value of years. Fine. Keep it simple. Let's move ahead. So now this is our canvas, and whichever visual we want to add, we can see over here. Fine. So let's start with a very basic visual, and this is your stack column chart. I'll be clicking on this. As soon as we click over here, we have this visual available. Fine. We can make it a little bit large like this. Let's make it. So this is the thing to understand. Now, what we want to do? We want to present the data sales by say city. Ki how much sales have been done in which city? Let's want to we want to make a visual like this. Okay. So look, there are options. When you click on this, it will show the options for this x-axis, y-axis, legend. Small multiple tool tips drill through. Okay, so first of all, see x-axis or y-axis. You understand what is x-axis and y-axis? So look, x-axis and y-axis is like y-axis is a vertical axis and x-axis is a horizontal axis. This is called the y x-axis and this is called the y-axis. Fine. So look, this will be the various cities and this will be the sales. So first of all, let's pick the sales data. you can always search if there are so many things and we'll drag this data into y axis so look i got a sales in the y axis because this is the value of y axis fine so we have got the sales this is very simple now what we want we want to see sales by employees or sales by city so let's take sales by city so in the x axis column we'll add city and i'll just drag this city to this so we got the city like this and we have a data graph available now we have done x axis y axis now imagine you want to see this is a sale done in this city but what about the each employees ratio in it so we can create employee and put into the legend one sorry drag this out and put into legend so look we get saurabh navika so each portion we got ki okay, how much each employee has done so this is how we created a first visual now say instead of this okay first of all let's do some formatting into it to make you understand better mm -hmm. okay let's do one more thing because this is the data now there's another option say i'm removing employee from here so this become back again like this now say you want to have a separate chart for each employee ki how each employee is performing so there is a option small multiples so i can drag this employee into small multiples and see i got a chart for each employee so this looks very interesting we have done like this also for got it i'm just removing it again fine and see we can reverse it out ki say quantity sales and we want to add year in the legends so if i add year into the legend what will happen year and i say year into legend so now i got year like this and for each employee i can again do it multiple times so say if i add emp again and this time i add into small multiples so i got the report like this got it now let's look into the formatting part of this visual what is that see this is 
your visuals now this is called format your visual so we'll click on this button format your visual now we get visual access x y legend so x is on so look this is x axis if i click on off it will go it is not showing i click again on on so it comes now we were in format this x axis so look this is format is 9 so when i increase the font the size of this text will increase i am increasing the font so can you see size increasing so say, say we have kept it 25 so now size is increased let me reduce it back a little bit 24 and we can do a little bit big also fine so look with this we have increased the font size of the x axis same way we can do for y axis also but okay there is a color okay you don't want it color let's change the color to this one so our text color has changed now what is the height you can do that so this was a about x axis fine same way we can do for y axis so let's increase the font y axis this is our option of range mm. okay what you want minimum and maximum value so say if i say ma value maximum has to be 5000 so it will show the minimum value as it will start from minimum value as 500 so if i click on this you will see that minimum will value will come like this fine but that is not our objective now let's move ahead values now talk about title so when you have title title is by default auto say if you want to write my first visual okay this is actually the title of x axis and y axis now let's talk about legend you can change the legend color also you want the top left position or how you want the legends to be located so these are the legends at top left if i change it from say at bottom right so it comes at bottom right so we can change the position like this also fine so now let's talk about the general portion now you have title over here that we wanted to write so say if i write a title my first visual when we just our title become my first visual now you can change the font say you want to increase the font let's make it 40 so look your font become my first visual like this so same way you can explore various options available say i don't want this color to be like this i want it to be so now my text has been changed so these are the formatting options for the chart now say let's go to the background option so look background by default is white if i click on this and say make it a something like this one this was the background for the title options so let's close this out now going to effects now you have background now if i change the background say this one so this becomes like this is not looking as good so there's an option of transparency so we can do the transparency like this now this looks better so you can do like this also so there's a transparency being done or say or i'll do more transparent like this 75 or say let's do it to 80 percent so look this is how we have changed the transparency of this thing so this is the way we can format the visual now there's another option when you click on this there's another option which is called analysis so when you click on this there's an option like constant line i can add a line let's click on add line and say i click on line and i say value has to be say 1 million so you need tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh so when you click on this there's a constant line has come into the picture so this is the line say you want which color of this line you can change to this color so color has changed you want transparent is 50 percent style what type of style you want solid dotted or dashed so if i did solid line this will become the solid one so this is how we can add lines into the system so these are the three things we learned today first of all it was the general properties visuals so visual you have x axis y axis then you had this option of what we say formatting your visuals then you had an analysis so this is how you can create a first visual 
Interestingly, when you created a first visual, so you click on this, and after that, if you click on this stack bar chart, your visual will convert into the bar chart. This is very simple. So you can add a new chart as well, and you can convert into other chart also. So this is how we first made our first visual. This was very simple. Now what I want is that you should try to do the same thing with yourself. Right now we have just touched a very small portion. In the next video lecture, we'll start with making a data model and then we'll work off it. But the idea was to start with something. So I have just shown you how to make a visual in Power BI. Now what I want is, please write in the comment from which city you are reading this video. Did you find it interesting? And what things you want to add on to my video. You can always download the data from the website. I will share the link in the comment. And yes, it is important to do with yourself. When you do with your hands, you'll be able to do it perform better. We have to explore all the formatting options because look, formatting is very simple. We have done it. We will be doing in Excel also. But idea was to just walk you through the Power BI. Hope you have enjoyed it. Look forward to in the next video. Thank you very much.